this is Joe DeHosa, he said, she said. And I was thinking about when someone gets in trouble, someone's in trouble with the law, the first thing when someone feels like that person is guilty is lock them up and throw the key away. Just lock them up and throw the key away. Well, we also have to consider that there's more than one side to every story, but that's a totally different conversation. How many things do we have in our life that has locked us up and thrown the key away? How many things have we allowed to entrap us, to delay us, to slow us down, to weight us down, to weigh us down, that's hindering us from progressing in our life? The things of our past, our issues, our habits, our addictions, all these different things are designed, were designed to lock us up. Right now, we are so locked up. Some of us are so locked up to where it feels as though we don't even have the key. And it can look that way if we're not paying attention. Right now, it has your, your hands bound, your feet bound, your mouth is tied up, all because of what you think about right in here, the way you're perceiving the situation. Right now, you have those keys, and the key to get you out of the situation that you're in right now is you. The key is you. The key is you knowing that you have the ability to help yourself out of the situation. You have the ability to change the way that you perceive you, the way that you look at yourself, the way that you respond to the situations in your life. Now, I know it's not easy. I'm not sitting here to tell you that. I know there's some people that have offended you. There's some people that may have upset you. There's people that may have done some things and they didn't even know what they've done. All it takes for you to sit down over time, have a conversation with them and say, you know what? I didn't like what you said. I have been feeling X, Y, Z way because you said ABC. I can't get beyond this. I feel as though I can't get beyond this until we sit down and have this conversation. Now in the, mo in the moment, excuse me, in the moment, it may be a little difficult for you to say that, but you have to get to a point to do that because you will be bound the other day in the Bible study that we did on uh, Facebook Live for Stolen Lunches, we talked about forgiveness. Your unforgiveness can be those shackles that are around your feet and hands and covering your mouth because you are unable to speak the things that God is placing inside of you to say to other people because your mind is bound by the things and the people that have held on to you or keeping you bound from your past experiences with them. There's a problem with that. There's an issue with that. There's an assignment for you to do. But only way that you're gonna be able to do that is if you let this thing go, is if you unlock the key, you have the key inside of you right now to unlock those shackles and get out of the situation. Because if you don't, your mind, your will, and your emotions will be held up. And when those three things are, hot, are tied up, any one of those three or all three of them, it will hinder you from making progress. It will hinder you from being a help to somebody. It'll hinder you from helping yourself. Why do that when you don't have to? So the first step is recognizing that you are the key. The second thing is unlocking yourself. The only way that you're going to be able to do that is by making the decision. And you have the ability to make that decision today. Will you make that decision? I know it's difficult. I know you're looking at me like, Joe, you saying this sitting in this comfortable room, you don't know what I'm going through. You're right. I can only imagine what you're going through. But I do know that the things that I've been through, the way that I unlock myself was by getting out of this situation. And the way that I got out of the situation was by knowing that I'm the key.